Hey, what do it, y'all? Switch and take put y'all tune to all y'all favorite rappers and celebrities alike. But first, I need a little favor done for y'all. First, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell as well. That'd be a great service to shoutly put y'all tune to this story. Now, today we're going to be talking about the late rapper Pop Smoke and those that were involved with his killing. So, not too long ago, one of the juveniles that were involved with the murder ended up being released from confinement. This man going by the name of King Vermont Rascal would end up posting to his social media to celebrate him being released. He had posted this photo to his social media platform. As you guys can see at the bottom, it says 21. He is also being reported to have called out his ops and told them to come take a shot. Now, following this man's release and him having posted to social media on a myriad of times, this was met with much controversy. A lot of Posmo's fans are unsurprisingly infuriated with him and they were expressive of this over social media. Now, King Vermont Rascal is being said to not be the murderer of Posmo, but he did in fact have involvement. He was a part of the group that had infiltrated Posmo's Airbnb and took his jewelry and ended his life. The rapper whose real name going by the name of Bashar Barack Jackson would unfortunately lose his life on February 19th in 2020. He was at a Hollywood Hills mansion when his life would be taken away from him early in the day. Pop Smoke's house was said to have been breached by a group of individuals and they would approach the rapper. After Pop Smoke would unfortunately become victimized, this man's diamond-studded Rolex would be taken away from him and it would be resold for $2,000 by the group. So this young man going by the name of King Vermont Rascal would end up having somebody record him have a conversation with his probation officer. He would caption his video saying the stuff I gotta go through with the salute emoji. Well, oh, I don't know all of that either. But just let me come pick you up and take you to Silmore so you can be safe. I'm scared for your safety, honestly. Mm -hmm. So looking into this video, it seems that the probation officer was pushing for this man to be relocated for his safety. The probation officer had offered to pick this individual up and relocate him to a safer place. Being expressive that she was fearful for this man's safety following him being released from the juvenile detention center. At the end of the video, the 21 year old seemed to be displeased with what the woman was saying and decided to hang up on her. This video was seen in the light of day about 23 hours ago and this individual will proceed to post another video about 6 hours ago. He would caption it saying this not to influence any negative behavior, this is what I've been dealing with my whole life, so to be violated for my safety, I refuse to let them determine if I feel safe or not, 100k. So based off of this footage, if we look closely at the decision that this individual had made, this man had grabbed a hold of scissors and decided to cut his own ankle monitor. It's quite evident that this man had likely advised his friend to film him committing the act. You can also hear in the background that this man's friend was encouraging him to throw the ankle monitor away into the parking lot. This free individual had also posted this to his IG platform to publicize it to the world. Now, as far as the intent that goes behind publicizing a video such as this, I fail to find the motivation, or at least a justified and rational one. All he is doing is criminalizing himself and setting him up for further problems in the future. The man is already on probation. He has people constantly surveillancing his every move. This man going by the social media handle of vblockstar3 had also posted these three images to his social media platform, captioning these saying trips and things. As far as comments from the public go, I already told you guys that this man is receiving a lot of hateful comments from people that are displeased with his involvement with the shooting of Pop Smoke. A lot of people also question his intent in terms of him publicizing him committing this act, attributing his actions as an attempt to gain clout and fame. But what makes committing and publicizing this act even worse is that the police have an eye on him already and are wary of what he has done and the crime that he has been convicted of. Mind you, we should take into account that this man was apprehended about four years ago at the age of 16. So as far as his education goes, we can assume that it is quite limited, given that he was taken into custody at such a young age. Others on social media have brought up the notion that this man was so fearful for his safety that he had decided to commit this crime in order to raise the likelihood of him being placed behind bars again. They feel that he'd rather be in an isolated location such as prison, rather be out in the open where his life is at greater potential risk. But yeah, y'all just go cap on this video, let me know what y'all think is in the comments. Why do you guys think this man had decided to publicize him cutting his own ankle monitor and post it to a social media platform for everybody to see? 
Do you guys think this man is even aware that he had caused himself further troubles after violating his probation? And to finish off, do you guys think this man may have the intent of promoting a rapper image thus why he is committing all these acts on the internet? Let all that be known in the comments, y'all. That's gonna do it. I'm out. Rage on that beat, going crazy.